hello, my beautiful Muddy Cool followers. Let's talk. episode I want to talk about a mangakai named Natsuki Sakaya. So if you have never heard of Natsuki Sakaya, she is a mangakai most known for Fruits Basket. And right now I am almost at the end of one of her newer series, Twinkle Stars. This is volume 4. And as I read this, I am learning like a pattern with her work. She's very emo. God. Okay, so I have a confession to make. I read, I started reading Fruits Basket like when I was like in high school. I got into anime about 2001, 2002, and I slowly got more into manga. And this series, Fruits Basket, was somewhat new to America, so let me see, uh, it started getting published in, well, it looks like 1998, 1999, oh wait, nope, so Tokyo Pop started publishing it in 2004, so in 2004 I hopped on this lovely bandwagon, and of course, um, Everyone had their favorite character and whatnot, and of course it's about the Chinese Zodiac and all of that, which is cool, and most people know about Fruits Basket. If you don't know what Fruits Basket is, and you're in the anime circle, I don't know what you're doing, go check it out, especially if you like shoujo manga, and especially because they had a reboot anime series. Honestly, I can't judge you too much because I haven't even watched the rebooted series. I've only seen the old one, and honestly, when I started this manga series, I still haven't finished. I've been stuck on the last two, the last three volumes for several years. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but I need to go by volumes 21 through 23 and just finish the thing. But anyway... What I learned as I was trucking through this behemoth of a, you know, mashup of two volumes of a book, Twinkle Stars, in volume four, but I noticed this in earlier volumes, well, mostly three and four, it slowly began to click, that Natsuki Sensei really likes to make these like really cutesy, lovey-dovey, like it should be happy stories, but everyone has these like messed up family lives. Like, who hurt you, Natsuki Sensei? Like, why you be so deep and so sad? Maybe this was like the cause of like my emo phase is because I'm reading stuff like Fruits Basket where we're excluding the cat from the party and nobody wants to love him or anything. I don't know what you're doing. Who hurt you? Do you need a hug, Nazi Sensei? Because I feel like you do. But you know what? I kind of, I do enjoy the mixture of the cutesy, like, let's make memories, like, together because we're young and free and this is like, high school is the time of your life. And you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs and you're gonna have some sadness, but damn. <laughs> the sadness is deep. It is always very deep. Like in this volume of Twinkle Stars, there is a lot of like, abandonment issues and people being like, I'm just gonna leave my daughter with you because my wife and I married, my new wife and I got married, and she's in the way of our new marriage. So I will pay you to watch my daughter. <sighs> this is just so effed up. It really is. Like, that's not cool. But I'm still going through it, and also at the same time, 
I'm kind of like a little bit confused, but it's my own fault because I read multiple series at a time and then I had like a long span of time where I didn't read Twin Twinkle Stars. And so hopping back into it, I'm just like, what's going on? But like the good thing is, is at the beginning of every volume, they have a story and character introduction at the beginning to like refresh your memory to make sure like, hey, remember this stuff happened? Do you feel sad? Do you feel angry? Are you ready to like rock and get back into this nonsense? And most of the time you're like, mm -hmm, yeah, of course, let's, let's jump into the sad fest. Let me, you know, grab my boxing gloves and my tissue and I'm ready. Let's get it. I mean, in the end, I mean, it's not a review or anything, but like, this is still a really good series. Like, I like it. Like, I enjoy her writing. I really do. I enjoy her characters. Her art style is very distinct. Like, when I started reading this, I didn't realize it was the same author until, like, the same manga kai until I, like, opened it and looked at the character design and I was just like, this looks kind of like Fruits Basket. Like, and then I looked it up on my anime list and it was like, yeah, it's the same manga kai from Fruits Basket, dum-dum. It probably also mentioned it in the book. I don't know. But if you haven't checked out Twinkle Stars, you should. Especially if you like Fruits Basket. I think she wrote... I believe she wrote some other stuff too. Because as I was flipping through the beginning of this, there is like a whole like letter here about like the author and stuff that she's written. So these are the only two references I have of her writing. But if any of her other creations are like this, I kind of know what I'm getting into. So prepare yourself for the cry anger fest that Natsuki Takaya Sensei presents you all the time. If you have read either of those books or any of her other books, tell me what you think. Do you think that she needs a little hug? Because everything's so tragic. It really is. But I like it. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Natsuki Takaya's work. And uh, if you have any re recommendations of her other manga, uh, let me know if you think I should check them out and if I might like them. Uh, thank you guys for watching another episode of Let's Talk. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my face and hear one of, more of my voice for some odd reason, I don't know, hit the subscribe button below. Uh, if you want early access and other stuff that I like to give away for fun because I love you so much, you can join my Patreon. Um, it's always at the end of the video. Um, I guess I'll see you next time, and we'll talk about something else that's just linger in my mind. And I regret not doing the series earlier, because I really wanted to talk about how I read Black Butler and found out that CL has a twin brother, and that totally screwed up my mind. Spoiler. <laughs> Peace.